course it's gonna work. Well, the mayor and I happen to go way back. Hey, when have I ever not come through for you, baby? Besides that. And then, too, look, this time it's different, Willie. You and Aaron just get the word out. When it comes to Jimmy Green, my word is money, baby. Trust me. <laughs> Jimmy. John. Oh, I mean, Sheriff. Wow. Look at you, living the dream. <laughs> at least one of us is. How's your sister, Brenda? She carries a gun now. I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. <laughs> Mr. Mayor. James, I'm a very busy man. I know. You got the weight of the world on your shoulders, or at least this town. But have no fear, your savior is here. <laughs> Whose savior? Yours, the islands. And what makes you think we need saving? I see it everywhere I look. Businesses are closing, houses are for sale, locals are moving to the mainland in search of work. Poverty's up, and happiness is down. Uh, save me the speech, please. It's not a speech, it's a golden opportunity. Let's just cut to the chase, huh? How much this time? What, money? I, I don't need... How much? You know what? Frankly, Pop, I'm insulted. Your son, the fruit of your loins, returns home to bring some life to the dying town that raised him, and this... How much? Not much. I got millions waiting on a nickel here, which means millions for this island. You'd be a hero. And it is an election year, right, Pop? Huh? I have got a plan that will take white sands from the red back into the black, just like it was before the attack. All right, son. I'll bite. How many times have I told these guys not to ride on the beach? A lot. And we still haven't found the other body or bike? And the other riders, they didn't hear or see anything? Nope. Because, geez, I mean... It looks like he was dragged in the sand until his head finally just snapped off. He had to have been screaming. But those engines are very loud. Yeah, I know. Why do you think I tell them not to ride on the beach? Hey, look, don't bite my head off, okay? I am just as upset as you are. No, I mean, we've got to explore every angle if we're going to solve this murder. Murder? Is that what you think this is? Well, what else could it be? Well, I'll tell you what it looks like, but you don't want to hear it. You don't want to face the facts. Facts? The fact is, this head and those marks are too far off the beach to be a shark attack. No, the tide could have washed it up. Look, at the line ends all the way up top there. No, no way. Tim still had his helmet on. Why would he be swimming with his helmet on? I don't know. Maybe they were in the water. They can do that nowadays with these dirt bikes. They can ride them on the water. Did you ask the guys? Is that what they told you? Yeah, I asked them, but they said that's not what they were doing. So how did he end up in the water with his helmet on, OK? Plus, look at the blood marks. They line up with the head. So the tide didn't do this. He was dragged. Those lacerations look very similar to a bite. Maybe we should call Dr. Powers. I'm not calling Dr. Powers because it wasn't a shark. I mean, for all we know, it could have been a coyote. A coyote? There hasn't been a coyote on this island in 30 years. Look, I'm just saying, if it was another animal, what could have done it to this man? Besides a shark. Go look for the other dead bodies. If you have to, comb the beaches. Should we comb the water? No, stay out of the water. But the beaches, they stay open. What? Mayor's orders. And speaking of sharks, Jimmy's back. You remember the old island festival, Pop? Holy son. Is that what this is all about? You want to throw another party? The community still hasn't recovered from the last one. I'm not just talking about a party with a parade and some pony rides here, Pop. Check it out. I'm talking about an annual festival based on radical self-expression and self-reliance. A temporary community for spring breakers giving them exactly what they need. Freedom from their classes and midterms. <laughs> and frat parties. Oh, yeah, college is so oppressive these days. Not that you would ever know. Yeah, looks like one of those old Kumbaya festivals. <laughs> yeah, I remember those days. Bunch of hippies running around naked. I on dope. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, Pop, I'm not just talking about a bunch of spring breakers running around, taking their tops off and drinking themselves into oblivion. It's gonna be music, too. Huh? Huh? Think about it. Think about it. Daytona, Havasu, Burning Man, all of these places survive on one week a year. We can have our own cash cow right here, the Sandman Festival. Thousands of kids from all across America will flock to this island for some fun in the sun and spend tons and tons of their parents' money. It will save this town. You will be the mayor that saves this town. You and me will be the family that saves this town. Do you practice that speech? A little. Why? Did it sound rehearsed? Not really. <laughs> Sandman Festival, huh? So there's a lot of guilt in this? Oh, big money, big money, from ticket sales to campsite rentals, food, lodging. If it can be got, it can be bought. We'll make a killing. Does this mean you're in? Let's party, son. <laughs> I don't do that. Laheim! Uh